Rivas fired the first salvos ahead of AC Milan's big game day 14 clash with Juventus at the weekend. The midfielder is in upbeat mood for the San Siro showdown and maintained that he could not wait to come up against old rivals after the cheering club's year out of the top flight. The encounter has added spice in that the Rossoneri have not won at home in the league all season and for the Italy international beating Juve would be the perfect moment to end that unwanted run. The 28-year-old, who is one of the favourites for the 2007 Italy Player of the Year award, scored his first Serie A goal of the campaign to give his side a 2-1 win at Cagliari on Sunday. It certainly arrived in style as the playmaker revived his trademark swerving free kick, which had been such a feature of his play in past seasons. Claudio Ranieri believes that Juventus are still not genuine title challengers despite their excellent start to the season. The Bianconeri swept Palermo aside at the weekend in a 5-0 mauling to put them joint second in the table alongside AS Roma and surprise team Udinese. However, the veteran coach is not getting too carried away and pointed to the fact that defending champions Inter were three points ahead of the pack and still had an extra game to play. The former Palmer and Chelsea boss promised that his team would battle for every point from now until the end of the season, and any talk of lifting the Scudetto would remain firmly in dreamland. The 56-year-old selection policy has seen the old lady impressed with their physical approach to the game, which has meant that ball players such as Thiago Mendes and Sergio Almiron have failed to win a regular start in place. But the Roman-born tactician had little words of comfort for the pair and claimed they would just have to bide their time as the team came first. Udinese may be flying high in Serie A, but the unfashionable club from the northeast of Italy are keeping their feet firmly on the ground. The Bianconeri are currently rubbing shoulders with Juventus and AS Roma in joint second in the table after a 2-0 win over Siena. That victory was the fourth on the trot and included the notable scalps of Fiorentina and Lazio. However, club president Giampaolo Pozzo claimed that his hopes for the rest of the campaign centred on getting as many points as possible to secure survival in the top flight. The Zabrete have been inconsistent in recent seasons and have languished in mid-table since the 2004-2005 fourth place finish. This has all changed now with new coach Pasquale Marino in charge of one of the most talented sides in the top flight. Pozzo may be keeping his objective small at the moment but he certainly knows a good thing when he sees it and only last week tied the 45-year-old Marino to a new deal until 2012. Empoli have brought in Alberto Malezani to replace sacked coach Gigi Cagni. The Tuscan side qualified for the UEFA Cup last season but have struggled so far this term and the 57-year-old Cagni was relieved of his post after the goalless draw with Torino at the weekend. Malezani, who was in charge of Udinese last year, is now faced with the task of improving on the team's 10 points from 13 games which has left them third bottom in the table. It's been a tough period for lowly sides this term, with Cagliari, Livorno, Regina and Siena also firing their coaches. Palermo, for their part, replaced Stefano Colantuono on Monday after Sunday's 5-0 demolition at Juventus and reappointed former boss Francesco Guidolin for a fourth time.